Okay, so we're going to have a quick overview at this unit called Geometrical Optics. So that's where we're going to start today with this chapter. Let's look at a few different things to take into consideration. So this is just a general overview. So as the name suggests, we're talking about light and how light travels and reacts in regards to other media or mediums that it travels through or reflected from. So first of all, optical media is what light travels through. When something is opaque, it means it does not allow any light through. If an object is optically dense, that means it will allow, it will slow down light as it travels through that medium. So the higher the optical density, the slower light will travel through that medium. And the lower the optical density, the faster light will travel through that medium. But light will not be able to travel faster through a medium than what it travels through a vacuum. Okay, then we look at two different uh, things now. We're going to look at reflection. And we're going to look at refraction. Now reflection is when light is reflected from a surface. So light does not travel through the medium. It is reflected from the medium. So the light beam that goes towards the medium is the incident beam or ray. And after it's been reflected, it's the reflected ray. And uh, remember, a normal line is always a line that is 90 degrees from the surface of an area. So keep that in mind. With reflection, we get diffuse reflection. That's with a rough surface where it just gives just a little bit of a, um, an image, not a clear, crisp image. And if it's specular, that means it gives you a nice and clear image, like looking into a mirror. Now, when it comes to refraction, light is traveling through the medium. And you have also an incident ray coming into the medium. You have a refracted ray and you have an emerging ray as it exits the medium. For example, if it enters like a uh, like a glass block and it travels through this will be the incident ray this is the refracted ray and that one is the emerging ray as an example if the angle of incidence is small enough or big enough we'll talk about that later it can cause something called total internal reflection. Now this belongs to refraction. So keep in mind it says reflection because it's a refraction that takes place but to such an extent that there is no emerging ray on the other side. It reflects internally into the medium. But we'll talk about that later. So this is a general overview of this unit.